Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Unify OS Network Video Recorder version 1.49, which was just released this morning. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon store and I'll put a link in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a backup of our UNVR and then we'll do the download. Once that's downloading, we'll go through some of the new changes. So first we'll get into our Unify Protect controller and then we'll go to our settings. Here we're gonna click on backups and then we're gonna create a backup of the current system. Now we can see under last backup was created May 19th, 2021 at 2.04 p.m. and we're gonna download it. Now we could go back to our UNVR dashboard and then click on settings. Under the general tab, we can see the firmware version is 1.3.39 and there's an update available. So we'll click on the update available and it will show that it's moving from 1.3.39 to version 1.4.9 and we'll press confirm. While that's updating, let's take a look at some of the changes. So in this new firmware version, it's bundled with Unify Protect 1.18.0 and the improvements it adds RAID 10 support it also adds hot spare support. It will add new HDD detection screen and notification on the LCM. It adds disk format function on LCM for disks that came from other UNVRs. It will show disk in storage status on the UI. It's gonna show controller install update progress and status on the UI. It's gonna show the local IP address on the UI. It will show protect camera live view on the LCM and it's updating the kernel to 4.19 LTS. Some of the bug fixes, it fixes some disk models weren't detected and it's gonna fix an issue with automatic storage creation. Now the controller is updated, let's take a look at some of the system settings. We could see the device name, we could see the local IP, the MAC address, everything there is standard and then we could see the firmware is upgraded to 1.4.9. If we scroll down to storage and capacity, this is where things change a little bit. It shows that everything is great, we could see storage, we have one HDD, two, three, and four. The utilization, we have 5.56 terabytes out of 5.93 terabytes. And then we have this redundant level. So with one disc, we're gonna be in RAID five. If we scroll down, we could have half of the disc, which will put us in a RAID 10. If we click on this little eye icon, it will tell us that same thing. It says redundant level, your preferred storage policy controls how many disks are excluded from total storage space to provide data redundancy. One disk, a single disk will be used for data redundancy. So in RAID 1 or RAID 5 configuration, if we're using half the disk, half of the disk will be used for data redundancy. This will be in a RAID 10 configuration. We also have this hot spare and we could turn it on or off. Enabling hot spare will decrease the number of available drives by one. If a drive fails, the hot spare will automatically replace it without requiring a physical swap. So that's pretty cool. This wasn't a huge update, but I do like that they added the RAID 10 and you're able to choose between RAID 10 or RAID 5 if you have multiple drives in your UNVR. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.